Hi everyone, let's talk about the Starling partition number of a set. Let's say we have a set, then a partition of the set is a set of non-empty disjoint, and all these words are important, disjoint subsets of S, let's say the set is S, whose union is S. So I'm going to give you an example because it's a bit of a mouthful to swallow here. Um, first of all, let's look at the set A, B, C. So we're going to let that be S. That's going to be the example in which we'll find all the possible partitions. So one partition is the partition of singletons, A, B, and C. Notice that the sets are disjoint and they're not empty in the partition. Another possibility is A, the singleton, along with the two set B, C. And so you can probably tell that we're going to have a couple more of these. We're going to have B, and AC and we're also going to have C and AB so we've got we've got the bunch of singletons here and we've got singletons with two sets here and the last example is of the partition that consists of the just the set consisting of the set so ABC in a set and that's the only element so those are all the partitions of S. What we are going to be looking at are K partitions. K partition is a partition containing K sets. So this one here is a three partition. This one, this one, and this one are two partitions and this one is a one partition. We're going to denote by n split k. That's what I call this. I don't think it's standard. n split k is number of k partitions of a set of n elements, otherwise known as an n set. So let, let's do a couple of computations. I'm not going to show exactly how these are done because I'll, I'll give a more general formula in the end. But a couple of computations, four computations that I'll show you are n split 1 can be done in exactly one way. n split n can be done in exactly one way as well. n split 2 can be done in 2 to the power of n minus 1 minus 1 ways. And n split n minus 1 can be done in n choose 2 ways. These are, these are fairly standard identities, and you can look them up in many places, including Wikipedia. Um, what we want is a general formula for n split k. And it's not going to be a pretty formula, but it is going to be a formula that we can use for computations. What we have to notice is that the number of ways of splitting, let's say, the first n in positive integers, 1, 2, through n, into k non-empty sets is the same as the following. Distributing n distinguishable balls, so these are the n distinguishable balls that we have. Distinguishable balls 
into k indistinguishable boxes. And that's because the order doesn't matter. It doesn't matter in what order we place the boxes, it just matters what's inside them. And this is actually equal to the number of surjections. If you think about it, it's the number of surjections from the first n integers into the first k integers divided by k factorial. And we're dividing by k factorial because uh, the order of the boxes doesn't matter. The, the balls themselves are distinguishable. So we're looking at we're looking at functions from n into k, but we have to divide by k factorial in the end to account for the fact that if you reorder the boxes, uh, then it doesn't matter what happens. And we know that the number of surjections by a argument using the principle of inclusion and exclusion is equal to the sum from i equals to zero through k of negative 1 to the i, k choose i, k minus i to the n, that's the number of surjections from n to k, and we divide by k factorial, and that is equal to n choose k. And if you're wondering where I got this formula from, uh, I have a different video on it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.